Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create an underwater scene in an in-ground swimming pool complete with your own custom text, mosaic tiles, and filtered surface light. Make a new document by going to File and New and we'll name it Pool Party. The size will be 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. Click on the foreground color and we'll type in 3C8DCE. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the layer with that color. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer and we'll fill it with white. Since white is our background color, press Control or Command plus Delete. Click on the FX icon and choose Gradient Overlay. The blend mode is normal and the opacity 100%. Click on the arrow next to the gradient box and click on the gear icon next to the thumbnail presets. Choose Noise Samples and click OK. Click on the first thumbnail and for the style choose Angle. Make a new layer. Go to Layer 1, press and hold Shift and click down. This will highlight both layers. Press Ctrl or Command plus E to merge them into one layer. We'll remove all the colors by pressing Ctrl Shift U or Command Shift U on a Mac. We'll call up Auto Levels by pressing Ctrl or Command Shift L. Let's zoom out. Press Z to call up your zoom tool and press and hold Alt or Option as you click down a few times. Press Ctrl or Command plus T to call up your transform tool and we'll change the width to 238% and the height to 400. Click inside the transform and move it up to approximately this distance then press enter or return. Call up your elliptical marquee tool and go to the top middle of your image. Press and hold Alt or Option as you drag out an ellipse approximately this size. Go to Select, Modify and Feather. We'll feather it by 200 pixels. Click on the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection. Click on the layer to make it active and change the Blend Mode to Overlay. Reduce the opacity to 50%. To see the entire image on your screen, press Ctrl or Command plus zero. Let's add sunlight reflections on the floor of the pool that would be reflected by the water on the surface. Go to File and New and we'll keep the same dimensions, 1280 by 720 with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. We'll name it Bottom Reflections. Fit the image onto your screen. To make the foreground and background colors default to black and white, press D. We'll fill the layer with black and since black is our foreground color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. Go to Filter, Render and Clouds. Go back to Filter, Render, and Difference Clouds. We'll invert the image by pressing Ctrl or Command plus I. Press Ctrl or Command plus L to call up your Levels window and we'll make the input highlights 235. To get this image into our Pool Party document, press Ctrl or Command plus A to select it and Ctrl or Command plus C to copy it. Open your Pool Party document and press Ctrl or Command plus V to paste it into it. Call up your Transform tool and go to the top middle and drag down halfway. We're going to zoom it back. Another way is to open your Navigator panel and click on the lower left arrow a few times. Go to Edit, Transform and Perspective. Go to a bottom corner and drag out until the angle closely matches the radial angle of the light rays. Then press enter or return. Fit it on your screen and we'll change the blend mode to overlay and the opacity to 35%. Click on the layer mask icon to make a layer mask and we'll call up the gradient tool. Click on the gradient box and you should have the black to white foreground to background gradient already there. If you don't, open your list of gradient presets and choose Reset Gradients. Go above the top middle of your water reflections and press Shift as you drag down. 
We're ready to make the tiled floor of the pool. Make a new document and we'll name it Pool Bottom. We'll keep the same dimensions and resolution as your others. Fit it onto your screen, click on the foreground color, and we'll use the same color as your water background, 3C8DCE. Go to Filter, Render, and Clouds. Call up your Type tool and open your Character panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Character. I'm choosing a font called Fiesta, which you can download for free at defont.com. Open your Paragraph panel, and I'm using Center Text. Open Character again, and click on the color box. I'm choosing a dark blue, 1B5498. Type out your text, and to move it, call up your Move tool, and move it. Click on the FX icon, and choose Inner Glow. Click on the color box, and I'm using C3D CF0. Change the blend mode to normal and keep the opacity at 75%. Make the size 9 pixels. To set a different line of text, call up your type tool again, click on your document, and this time I'll choose Catheta, which you can also download from defont.com. I'll make the point size 82 and type out the second line. To move it, I'll call up my Move tool and move it. I want to copy the inner glow effect onto the other text. To do this, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and when you see the double arrow icon, drag it on top of the other text. Now, both text layers have the same effect with the same parameters. You can add images to your tile floor as well. For this example, I'll add some tropical fish. Whatever you choose, you need to make a selection to cut it out from its background. There are many ways to do this, so choose the method that's the easiest and most effective for you. To move this image into our pool bottom document, click down anywhere on it and drag it up onto the pool tab. With your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the image and release. Using this method, continue to add as many images as you like. If you want to place some of them behind your text, click on those layers and drag them below the text layers. In this example, I want to move fish 3 and 4 behind the text. I'll make fish 4 active and press and hold shift as I click on fish 3. This highlights both layers. I'll drag them below the text. Now they're behind the text. The next step is to make a composite snapshot. Scroll to the top layer and click on it, then press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Texture folder and choose Stained Glass. We'll make the cell size 4, the thickness 1, and the light intensity 0. Click OK. As before, click down on the image, press Shift, drag it up onto the tab, and with your mouse or pen still held down, drag it down onto the image and release. Call up your Zoom tool and zoom out. Call up your Transform tool, go to the top middle, and drag it down approximately halfway. Go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. As before, go to a bottom corner and drag out to an angle that approximates the angle of the light rays. Then press Enter or Return. Fit it onto your screen. We want to copy this layer mask onto the pool bottom. As before, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag it on top of the layer. The last step is to drag the pool bottom below the light rays. Have fun creating the underwater scene of a gorgeous swimming pool with your own custom-made mosaic tile floor adorned with whatever images you'd like and your own custom text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.